Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. It is time for another first impression. This time we have Simplicity's new holiday collection, which judging by this little screen here, looks cute. <laughs> no, um, you guys know my thoughts about velvet and how it photographs. But let's see everything that they've got and judge them one by one. All right, first up we have a little dress with, it looks like a bunch, this one has a bunch of different fabric, um, like pattern mixing, it looks like. Um, oh, that's the whole cover, okay. There's the back. Okay, yeah, interesting. So it's got some really, let's do it this way. I always forget their site is a little wonky donk. Um, okay, so now we can see all the seam lines. So you have like your traditional princess seams and then you also have this extra one and you can add this pocket or a collar or a little sleeve cuff. It's got a cute little um, just princess seams, A-line skirt, long sleeves or three-quarter sleeves with a cuff. I'm assuming that's what that is. Oh, look, here she is with her ornament. <laughs> okay, cute. Um, I can't see the whole thing at once. This is really interesting to me. I feel like I've seen a lot of these fabrics before and mixing them all together is a really cute idea. I never would have thought of that. Um, here it is front, like looking dead on. Very cute. Um, what kind of fabrics are we talking? Brocades, cotton types, lightweight denim, shirtings, silky types, and lightweight wool types. I feel like this might be a wool type. Um, yeah, it could be really cute in a lot of different fabrics. Oh, look, here's some. This is one with like an all over print. This one has like even color blocking in addition to the pattern mixing. And then here's the one she's wearing. Here's a solid one. That one is adorable. I kind of love it. Just there's like so much going on with all the seaming and stuff. I kind of like it as a solid. That's really cute. I like that it's a crew neck um, and lots of like simple variations. You know what I mean? Like nothing too complicated. That's really cute. Be super cute with boots or tights or leggings. Okay, here's that dress that was on the cover. So it is a sew with knits and gather fabrics and apply a neckband. So it's a learn to sew knits. Oh, also apply bias tape and armhole facing. Yeah, those are pretty much the basics of sewing with knits. I think if you learned how to do those things, you could sew just about anything out of knit fabric. It's a cute shape. Um, Oh gosh, I can't remember who it was. This, oh, I feel like um, Brittany, from Brittany J, or is it Brittany Jones.com? Brittany J Jones. And also Erica Bunker. They both made a version where it's like roost like this on the side, but it's like asymmetrical. So there's another version of this floating around out there right now. Just recently came out. This is for stretch knits only, ITY, jersey, single knit, stretch velvet, velour. And then our options are long sleeve, short sleeve, or sleeveless. See, now this is starting to look a little bit asymmetrical. The other one has like a tie where you can like shorten it or lengthen it um, to make it more or less asymmetrical. This one, it looks like you're just stuck with what you've got. It also looks like only the front is ruched, meaning... Like, can you see how, like, all this ruching here looks like it's just going into a flat piece? So, as good as that ruching looks on the front, it would be just, like, velvet, flat velvet across your bum. I can't say that that is 100% comfortable with me, 
But if you've got, you know, a slim figure or one that you like showing off your curves, um, you know, maybe that would work for you. It also looks like this one is like the seam is wrapping around. Maybe that's just because she's been moving around a lot or something. I don't know. Either way, it's not intended to be that way. But yeah, you can see our fronts are all ruched and our backs are not. So you just have to decide whether or not you would like that. Personally, I would prefer ruching all around <laughs> because it really does hide a lot of the, you know, lumps and bumps and um, just in a form fitted, you know, kind of clingy knit dress. I would prefer it all around, but that's just me. I will say though that it did photograph well, that velvet. That was a good application of velvet, I think. Okay, this one is a little top where I, I'm not convinced that velvet was the right choice. The color is beautiful. Um, let's look at, let's see, woven fabrics, cotton lawn, double Georgette, lame, jeez, panne velvet, silky type stretch velvet. Okay, here are our line drawings. So you have this off the shoulder thing. I think your arms come out of this hole. I think that's the one she's wearing. We'll look at that again in a second. You also have this crew neck version with some gathering at the neckline and at the sleeves, elastic, elasticized like um, sleeve hem. This one has kind of that drawstring ruching like I was explaining with the, with the other dress. This has all of that and an elasticized shirt hem. And then this is a combination of like B and D together with the sleeve and the, all right, kind of a lot going on. Here are the backs of all of them. Okay, here's her picture with her ornament. But see how it's that off the shoulder version, but they like hiked it up onto her shoulder. And then here it is as illustrated. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys always leave the funniest comments saying that you're like laughing along, listening to me try and find nice things to say about patterns that just are not <laughs> working out. But like, I really do try and find the good in all of them. I know that there is like a person who designed this, you know, it's like a human being, a human element to this. And so like, I just, I just try and see different applications of how it could work. This one, I'm not convinced that it's like bad fabric choice. I actually really like the velvet. I think what it is is that I have made tops with this elastic going around the shoulders before and it is impossible for it to stay down on your shoulders. It inevitably always pops up like hers has here and I just think this is not a cute look. This much elastic all around your face like that, all loose, mm -mm, I'm not a fan. So if it stayed down like this, I guess if you got like double-sided tape or did that weird trick where you sewed the elastic under your armpit, I think it could be really cute and interesting. Um, but in reality, real life, I know that this is what's going to happen to it and that I'm not a fan of. So I think, you know, the overall opinion here is the concept was okay, but like the practicality of it, I don't think is is going to match up to my lifestyle. If you have a lifestyle where you don't ever have to raise your arms, by all means, <laughs> have at it. I'd like to meet you also too. I'd like to know what your life is like to where you just keep your arms by your side. You know, like the princesses, like Meghan Markle, can't, they are not allowed to raise their arms. They have to keep their elbows by their sides and only raise their hands, um, which is where they get that Windsor wave or whatever it's called. Anyways, digressing. Okay, so now we have bodysuit blouses. This is intriguing. Oh, I am here for this. Okay, so this is a really cool concept. I'm going to touch on the practicality, which some of you might already be thinking, but bear with me. 
So the idea is that you have this blouse that you tuck into your jeans and it stays tucked in because it's sewn to like a knit little underwear type thing with some snaps so you can go to the bathroom. Um, and it makes it like a blousey bodysuit. Okay. The concept is great. What I want to know is what happens when you bend over? Can people see your bodysuit? And is that weird? Or are they just not really noticing? I'm curious about that element of it. What happens as you start moving around, you know, your jeans stretch out or you bend over or you reach up for something? Are you going to get a wedgie? Are, is this part of the garment going to show? Is that going to look like underwear? Like what's going to happen? But in theory, it's really cute. And I would be willing to be a guinea pig and test this out for everyone. Um, but you have a few versions of the blouse. I think there's a lot of great versions here. You have this flared sleeve. Looks like all of them have this front shoulder with the gathers um, and the same kind of like bottoms. This one has a shorter flared sleeve with a little um, tie. This one has a crossover with an elasticized sleeve. This one is the same crossover with a cuff. And this one is a crossover sleeveless. So you do have a lot of options there. These are what the backs look like. Okay. And then here she is modeling them. Obviously, they, I don't think they're going to show any pictures where, like, the bodysuit part is showing. But that's a really cool, fun, different pattern that you don't see very often. So I'm going to give them kudos for that. Perfect um, fabric choice here. Light and drapey. Maybe it's like a crepe, maybe. Yeah, I promise you, if she were to lean over, you could see all her, the rest of the garment. Look at this. <laughs> the ornaments are cracking me up. So outside of, you know, some questionable, like, practical worries that I have, I do love this. I think it's really cute and very versatile. And I think that um, it would be a great addition to to your wardrobe, something different that you don't already have. And for those of you out there who were like, oh, I don't wanna have to like unclip it every time to go to the bathroom, like I think that's, I would trade that for having to come repeatedly tuck in my shirt over and over all day, you know? Okay, this is a cute little dress. I'm getting more of a winter vibe than a holiday vibe out of these patterns. Um, which is perfectly fine. So cute. Don't y'all love this? Okay. So we have like a hoodie drawstring waist dress. I mean, hello. If we not seen like thousands of versions of that in all the stores everywhere from loft to anthropology, everybody's making those. Um, this is just the hoodie top. This must be a different kind of hoodie. And then a that's like made in a jersey. They made so many versions of this. I love that they are all on people. Oh, it's so how seven. That's why. See, the indie people, they just know that we want to see lots of versions. Okay. So this is for knits. Jersey, novelty, stretch velvet, sweater knit. Perfect. Let's see the drawings. So it looks like we have kind of like more of a cowl neck hoodie and then more of a crossover hoodie. And then you have your drop shoulder, long sleeve. It looks like they're all long sleeve. And then some have this elasticized waist. This one has this little pockety thing with waist seam. And then these are just your tops. And then those are the backs. So it's like more of a slouchy hoodie. I don't know the difference in the hoodies. So this is one of the crossover hoodies. It's that one with the pocket openings. Her hair is covering the hoodie there, so I can't see anything about that. 
see how this is like all drapey around here? I think that this hoodie, well, also it's very small. It almost looks like a, oh gosh, is it called a sari? Culturally, you guys are probably shaming, shaming me right now. You know, the um, women who cover their heads, what is that? What is that piece called? I can't remember off the top of my head. But it feels very, very, very reminiscent of that. It's like very kind of nun-like also, just like covering her ears and everything else. I don't know that I would wear that hood up unless I was like desperate for some warmth. Um, but also this version, you, I think you'd need to make that a jersey. All that drape there and anything thicker I think would just be a mess. A mess. But... Here's, see how much wider this hood is? So that one would be better for thicker fabrics. It's really cute. I don't know that I could pull this one off with my pear shape, um, but I do love the drawstring version a lot and I feel like it, it would look very ready to wear and very comfortable. Secret pajamas for sure. Okay, here's another little top. This one is a wrap top. Cute earrings. Um, okay. Oh, look at these fun sleeves. Okay, so it looks like everybody has the same wrap-ish. Um, and then you have these interesting sleeves. I don't even know what those are called. Or this just standard sleeve. And then you have either double tulips, a longer tulip, like skirt him or a shorter one. I'm I'm leery about this. What's happening here? How it's pulling away from her body, but that's probably because they just didn't fit it to her exactly. Um, but maybe it tells me if you have a fuller bust, this is going to fit you really well. It has these bust darts. Um, and if you have a smaller chest, maybe size down. That's just my very, very <laughs> amateur assessment of that. Um, and then this version looks like the same as the others bodice wise, but it has this like flared sleeve with a slit. This one's really cute. I think that's really sweet. I want to see what these sleeves look like. This is what frustrates me. It's like, I know what a standard sleeve looks like. I don't know what this looks like. So I wanted them to make this version so that I could visualize that. Like I can visualize this without seeing it made up. So frustrating. Okay. Either way, this is what we've got. <laughs> so it looks like there's a facing, a little collar. A little sash which I think is separate I can't tell if it's um, sewn in or not like if it's a true wrap I think it might be mm, hard to see this is also a little high I would muslin this a thousand percent um, if I were going to make this it is a cute top and a cute shape. I would just want to make sure that the fit up here was good and your dart was in the right place and all that jazz. And again, I do love that little double tulip hem. So these are all like lighter weight wovens. Chalet, chambray, cotton, linen, shirtings. Yeah, this version. I do think that's really cute. Okay, now we have a skirt, high-waisted skirt, um, with like an asymmetrical type of button design. Those are some big buttons. Um, you can also do center front with princess seams. I guess, do they all have princess seams? This one is a wrap with a little like D buckle. This one also wraps with two buttons. This is the version the model's wearing. And then this is the same as A, but maybe shorter? Hard to tell. Okay, cotton, gabardine, denim, corduroy, sateen, stretch woven, tweed, twill, wool, all those like wintery fabrics. Okay, 
fairy boss babe. They pinned that. <laughs> I notice that now all the time on TV too, like on TV shows or like talk shows or whatever. I'm always noticing when people have had to pin their tops closed because they don't fit properly. I would like to see the her a back, a picture of her backside, but we don't have one of those. So here's the line drawings. And these are the, here's the back. So the back is just plain. It does look like the waistband is curved, which is a plus for me, us, those of us with curvy figures. And it does have these princess seams, so it's easier to adjust for a smaller waist. So all pluses there. This version is my favorite. I love this tie. But, you know, I'm just not a skirt person, I don't think. I keep trying to make skirts, and I'm just, I think I'd just rather have a dress. Okay, now we've got a tunic and legging pattern. Okay, okay. So we've got some kind of like lightweight drapey knit and then like a sheer um, for this version. Which, you know what, I can really appreciate because I don't like tunic over leggings typically. I feel like it looks matronly or something. I, I don't feel like it looks very stylish. But this, with this curved hem and the sheer element of this, like, skirt, um, kind of... For me, I think it's important that you can still see your crotch. <laughs> I don't think I ever could imagine myself saying that. Um, but I think it's important that you show that you have like upper thighs and like shape to your body. You know, I don't like when it's just like a tent that covers everything and it's just like a really, really, really short dress. You know, I like that you can see you know, there, there's a, a figure under there. So all that to say, I like this version. Some of you may be surprised to hear that, but I do, I like this version. Um, then we have version B, which is this jersey with two little uh, ruffle sleeves and no bottom hem. This version C is all of this in a solid fabric with no sheer. And then we've got two kind of like jeggings. Um, they do have like the faux pockets. They don't have the faux fly, but that's interesting. Um, it looks like they zip up the back and have a single um, dart, back dart. So for the tops, 25% stretch fabrics like Oh no, that's for the pants. That's for the pants. So the pants are double knit, ponty, and stretch pleather. Ironically enough, I have two types of stretch pleather and I've been thinking about making leggings from them. So maybe this is a sign. And then for the top, 50% um, stretch, like active wear knits, jersey, spandex, stretch lace, stretch velvet, two way stretch. Okay. So here they are again. I think we kind of went over. It was pretty much easier. Pretty, pretty easy to see the style lines in the pictures. And then here's... So they are pull-on leggings, but they also have a zipper. Am I understanding that right? A, one seven-inch zipper. Okay. I actually really like that concept. Because the reason why I hadn't made the pleather leggings yet is because I just couldn't imagine what would happen to the pleather stretching them over my hips, you know, because I have to stretch out the waistband so much to get them over my hips. But if you have this little zipper there, that makes a lot of sense. What do you guys think of the pleather leggings? Are those still cool? She looks cool.
yeah, I think this is a really cute kind of casual fall outfit. I actually really like it. Okay, here is a jacket, top, and pants. Hmm, okay. This is giving me kimono vibes, and y'all know what I think about kimonos by now. Oh, I want to like it. Like, I like the drawing, but then I see it on her. Maybe it, this could be one of those, like, fabric choices. Oh, I don't know. I do want to like it. The concept is cute with the elasticized waistband and then, like, the little tie. That's cute. And then you have a little crossover top, wide leg pants. Let's see some more of the... So they made her pants in velvet. I don't know. I kind of feel like I do like it. Maybe it's the sleeve. Maybe if this were like not, I guess it has a slit in it or something. If this were just like a completely closed sleeve, I would like it more. Hmm. Or maybe the brocade is just a little too stiff. Oh, I don't know, but I want to. I want to like it. Maybe it's just these weird poses. Check this out. Oh, crushed velvet, head to toe. I mean, it looks like pajamas, but then again, wearing pajamas with high heels is apparently like so trendy. I don't know. Is anyone still doing that? I feel like there are very few like high fashion models that were able to pull that off. This is not for me. This I want to like. I really, really do. Let's see. They didn't make up the dress. Maybe I would like the dress more. The concept is there. I think you just have to put some thought into fabric choice. So they recommend for A and B, which is the pants and top, stretch knits. And then for C and D, which is the top and jacket, brocade, cotton, dupioni, jacquard, linen, shantung, and velvet. Yeah, all kind of like heavier weight um, fabrics. Not that I would make it in a chalet or anything like that. I mean, it is still like you know, a wrap coat kind of deal. But I wonder if that closes completely or if it just ties. Um, elastic and that's it. So the jacket and the jacket and dress, I'm thinking they just stay closed with this, which is why you can't use like lighter weight drapey fabrics. You have it's it's definitely more of like a a suiting or something like that. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to keep that one in the back of my mind. Okay. Now we have, well, look at this lovely lady. Very chic. Okay. Uh, skirt and jackets. Interesting. So it looks like maybe a sweater knit with a contrasting like satin. And then they made the skirt out of the same satin fabric, short skirt. Okay, the jacket, the lapel either is like a solid or it has this notched one. You do have some princess seams. And then that belt. And then a shorter skirt and a longer skirt. Fabrics are Brocade, corduroy, crepe, jacquard, lightweight denim, satin, tweed, twill, velvet, lightweight wool. Yeah. Oh, and look, the sleeve is all one piece, like a dolman sleeve. Again, we aren't going to see any pictures of her back, which is unfortunate. Um, I think that's a sleek little jacket. I can't say so much for the skirt, but like I said earlier, I'm not that big of a skirt person. Where'd her lipstick go? Lipstick? 
no lipstick. I guess they added it on in post. Anyways. Okay, now we've got a coat. A cute coat from what I can see already. Kind of like with an asymmetrical like belt situation. Um, I think that A and B are just different lengths. So A comes like a little bit below the knee. I imagine B hits above the knee. C is missing the belt and D has patch pockets. Um, brocade. Oof. I don't know about that. Micro suede. I don't know about that. Tweed. Okay. Velveteen. Mm. And wool. Yeah, I would stick with the coating fabrics. I can't imagine this. And brocade. That's a lot of brocade or velveteen or micro suede. Her hair is in the way of the collar, so I can't really see what's going on there. Here she is with her ornament. Oh, very smizing. Um, yeah, you don't really get a ton of shaping with this particular belt. It's still a loose fitting jacket, which I think would be like a nice addition to the wardrobe. But I also feel like this one's a little just bit too big for her. Like, look where this sleeve is hitting. This should be up here onto her shoulder. So I kind of feel like it's a mix of both. It's a mix of this just being a little bit too big for her and also it being a kind of a slouchy, oversized um, design. But I mean, you can only tie this so much. And it looks like this is top stitched on, which I don't love that either. I thought that it was like sewn through it somehow. Mm, I don't know about this one, guys. I mean, you can, and what happens to this? Is this what's happening here? Is that it's, it, this little piece is moving further and further this way? Yeah, it just seems a little fussy to me. Maybe there's like a snap you could put in there. I'm not sure, but I don't make a ton of coats anyway. So I'm going to, if I'm going to make one, it's going to be like the one, you know? Okay. So here is another lined coat. This one is made from carpeting. <laughs> what is that? I guess it's a kind of Sherpa or minky maybe. Um, again, it's oversized kind of straight silhouette, which for me falls in the same category as shift dresses. I mean, it's really no different than that um, because I would still have to make it, you know, two sizes bigger through here than I would in the top. So I would still be doing some grading and probably would still feel very, not frumpy, but just like, you know, slouchy, slummy. I don't know what the words are. Here's a shorter version, C. B looks to be knee length and D is cropped. Now that one I could definitely get behind. Um, because that would hit, you know, right at the hip line and it wouldn't matter what was going on down here. Okay. Oh, but it does have that little like buckle thing in the back, which I really like. We don't get any pictures of that, but you can see it here in the line drawing. So fabrics are denim, low pile fur like fabrics, lightweight Melton, Minky, Sherpa, mention those, and then wool types. Okay. All right, so yeah, here they all are. I think I really like D, but I love a cropped jacket. The Vogue one is on my, is in my cart from Vogue. Um, here's the little button detail that I was telling you about. So I guess in theory, you could, you could do a little bit of shaping through here. Does it have side pockets? I guess so. It looks like it has little side pockets. Yeah, she, it looks like she's got her hand in one. That's it. That's a good touch. I, this color is just too much like carpet. I think Minky and Sherpa would be okay, um, just in a different color way. Like, I get where they were going with the whole monochromatic outfit and everything, but that's just a little bit too 
much. And they are fully lined, guys. So that is like good quality, nice and warm. Your finishing details on the inside are going to be great. Um, so there's a lot of redeeming qualities about this, even if this picture is, this sample is not all that. But I love D. D is my jam. All right. Now we've got uh, yet another coat. This one is unlined. And this might be the last of our patterns. Um, hey, let's check it out. That's a beautiful fabric. Very beautiful. Okay, so it's like a wrap, like kimono type coat with a belt. Um, your options are, it also has a raglan sleeve. This one looks like the belt is only sewn into the wrap and doesn't wrap all the way around your body. This with the sleeve, elastic, elasticized sleeve thing is interesting. That almost looks like a dress. And then here's the version she's wearing. Very kimono-like, yeah? Um, let's see, brocade, damask, denim, jacquard, linen, micro suede, ponte, tweed, and wool. Okay. I mean, I can't see this in tweed or wool, but yeah, maybe in ponte. Yeah, see how this one where the belt is like sewn into the band here? And I do like this asymmetrical hem. It looks good on her. I just, I don't know about kimono type stuff. You know, it's just not my favorite. But I do actually really like the fact that this is a coat with a V-neck because in the South, it's not necessarily that important to be like all the way covered up. And in fact, it might be nice to have some breathability up here and, you know, just have another layer on like the main parts of your body. You know what I mean? It would be like, I think we would be able to wear this a little bit longer in the South. Um, it would be too hot if we were all covered up, but maybe just the right amount of coverage. You know what I'm saying? It's a cute, that's a cute coat. I don't know. I just don't know about the um, kimono style, but there, like I said, I really do like the V-neck and it does look really good. Although the fabric could be fooling me because that is a really nice fabric. Okay, so now we have a vintage nightgown, another nightgown wardrobe type thing. Here's matchy-matchy rompers for the family. That's cute. Ones for the men in your life. Ones for the women in your life. <laughs> Here's some other robes. And then kids' clothes. Oh, wait. Oh, these are all accessories. So these are sweater, scarf, and headband. We'll look at this since it does include a sweater. All right. Oh, look, it's like my twisty headband. I have a tutorial. Okay. Let's, I can't really tell what's going on. They, they made multiple versions of this one, but not the others. Come on. Okay. So your double knit fleece, minky, sweatshirt fleece. And then the scarves you can also make in stretched velvet. Here are the line drawings. It's just like a simple banded kind of cardigan, really. Drop shoulder, patch pockets. And then you have this wider um, scarf and then this narrower one. And I guess they're wrapping the narrow one around her head like a headband. So there's the fuller one or the wider one. Here's the narrow one as a headband. That's another one of them. I can't tell which one. Probably the wider one. Uh, what do you think about adults wearing minky? Uh, even this in the blue color. The other one I said looked like carpeting. This looks like a bathrobe. 
which maybe for oh look at her and her leather leggings though um maybe this is another odd color choice but it looks like a bathrobe but maybe also I just don't really love minky as like garment you know fabric but here's the back view it's a cute little cardigan I think it would that this would be one of those that would make a really great gift because the sizing doesn't have to be super specific um, so you could definitely make that for your mom or for some girlfriends in your life. Um, here's a bunch of hats. Here are some bags and smaller accessories like wallets and stuff. And vintage apron, apron, another apron. So like a lot of gift idea type stuff. And I think this is going to take us to the fall patterns. Yeah. I think we're into fall now. Okay, so that is going to do it. Yep, here are the ones I covered the last um, Simplicity first impression video. Okay, so yeah, so that's going to do it for the Simplicity. I'm going to call this their winter collection. There wasn't weren't many holiday selections at all. This one might be the only one I can see for holiday. But there are some really great wearable options through here. Um, I want to give this a try or at least see how it works for other people. This one was really cute too. So there's a lot of fun, um, easygoing, wearable options. I think that a lot of people are going to really like this. Not very fussy, simple, clean lines. Um, it definitely has a broad appeal, I feel like. But let me know what you think. Um, let me know what your favorites are. Try and reference some detail about the pattern rather than the pattern number because I don't have all these memorized and I like to know, I just get a lot of comments. So I like to know what you guys are talking about as I'm reading it, not having to go look up the pattern. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of them. Let me know what your favorite is. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.